How is everyone doing on this fine Friday? Got a little bit of post-game commentary for once. I'm doing a lot of live, getting better at it, but every so often I want to go back to the post-game stuff just to mix it up a little bit. And especially when we got patch changes, I like to do a little post-commentary to discuss that a little easier when you're not actually playing. The patch was a... they've been doing a lot of, I don't want to say small patches, but uh, they are not designed at adding stuff or changing things. They're more designed at fixing the game to make it more smoother for new players. They have gone live, so that is pretty understandable. So these patches don't have a whole lot of patch changes. The, the biggest change is a lot of team making stuff and all that. They did split sol uh, solo queue back into a uh, not solo queue, but quick match. Uh, quick match itself is now a solo queue or a build team. It got split again. Beforehand, you would just either solo queue or you would make a team in queue in the same uh, area. That's different now, as you will see when you log in. Beyond that, for balance changes, uh, some products uh, products have changed up a little bit as you see this gameplay. Uh, my massive air is currently uh, darkened. It is disabled. It no longer works until level, I think, six. I want to say level six. It starts working now. Which, uh, for most people, are saying it's not that big of a nerf because level six is your generally level six around the time of the first of the first annihilator. If you're doing pretty well, you get level six. If you're not, you're six about after that. So not. It's not a huge nerf. It'll generally be up for most of the game. And also the uh, the physics of it are still in are still there. So you can still prevent ring outs and all that with it. So a lot of the main grievances are still there with that product. So we'll see how that works out. But I have a feeling that they'll probably tweak it a little bit more in the future. They slowed the both the can't products can't slow this can't stun this have both this uh, nerfed again uh, now boasting a 90 second cooldown as opposed to a 60 second one they had earlier before that they had a 30 second cooldown which was a bit much now they had 60 people thought that was all right now it's 90 which I can understand for can't slow this maybe I probably would have gone a little less than that maybe 75 or Maybe a little bit higher than that, but 90 seems a little ridiculous. Can't stun this is absolutely ridiculous. It, that's it. I, I personally don't think that they should even be. Uh, they should even have that product. It is too niche for what it does. It's just it's just sort of hard counter certain pros, mainly Carl, and to a lesser degree Was uh, Wascott. I don't know if it blocks bananas. Uh, who knows? I wouldn't equip it just for bananas anyway. But. That seems to keep more ridiculous uh, nerf to that. So those got nerfed. That's a big one. And they uh, unnerfed. They they unnerfed health inverter a little bit. It's now I think 13% health uh, health leech instead of 10. So that is uh, that is that. I have not used it since the patch. So I'm not sure how good it is now. It's still probably going to be reserved for gunner and tank for the most part, since they have nice burst abilities. They can really heal them fast with health inverter procs, because really with health inverter procs, you kind of need to either Remember, folks, heal up immediately or you die. Anyone In some cases, I can see you sort of just uh, sustaining yourself with a slow dribble of health, but not in all cases. Outside of that, not a whole lot. They did add a nice fancy new skin to uh, the Cheston, who's gotten the definitely the lion's share of skins, but he is, uh, it's a fancy skin, it's a nice, uh, he finally gets a traditional fedora, he did have one of this pack skin, but he has a new one now that you can buy, it's sort of a gangster-esque formal wear, so check it out if you like it, it's a, I guess as far as skin costs go, it's the, sort of the middle tier, uh, $7, so it's not one of those uh, more expensive skins you've been putting out recently. Speaking of pack skins, uh, just a reminder, this is also the last week of uh, being able to buy the packs and the TF2 skins. The TF2 skins in particular are like 50 uh, combat credits, or 49 cents, so they are so cheap that there's no reason to buy them. You get like a few hats and I think some chest piece, uh, torso pieces for, your, for the uh, original six classes. I should went off in the video earlier. Sassy gets like a headset and a spy mask. So definitely grab those. The pack skins are $1.99 each. Obviously you can still win my codes. The codes will still be valid, so I'll still be giving those out over the coming weeks. 
until I run out of them anyway. And those are, like I said, $199 each and $19.99 for all of them if you buy the bundle, which is which is cheaper. And right here, speaking of skins, there was a promo skin released yesterday for the uh, Giant Bomb website. They're uh, just a you know, gaming news website. I am a I am a fan of Giant Bomb. I definitely uh, watch their stuff. They did a Thursday night throwdown every week, and this week was well, they do a Thursday night throwdown every week. And this week was Super Monday Night Combat. It was um, didn't go pretty well. Um, I don't know. I'm not as a, as a as a person who plays the game. I'm not quite. I'm a little nervous about it because the guy who was playing did not know how to play, and obviously it's not a super intuitive game to play if, when you're fresh. They had problems with getting custom games together, so I am. I'll, they had it ended early, like an hour and a half. I think it was like three hours was the uh, planned time for it, and they ended after an hour and a half. So, um, I don't know how people were reacting to it, but as a player, I was hoping, you know, this is, you know, we need publicity for the game. And I don't know if that really uh, that really matched up. However, related to that, they released they finally released the Luchadier skin. The skin has been in the game for a while. It was originally a modified Christmas skin. Since then, they have tweaked it some more. You see, you get little uh, little deer legs and a tail to the veteran. And I was going to announce it on my on my channel, but honestly, the promotion for the Giant Bomb skin and taunt were so brief that. I really could not get it in time. The, I think the site to get the skin and taunt went up like I think around two in the morning on Wednesday or no Thursday morning, two a.m. And then it, I then believe it was around shoot. It, I think it was I think it went down at ten p.m. that same day. So it was not up long, and I think the site also started dying around seven or eight that night. Right before it went down, because the because uh, of all the publicity it got, so it was really really hard to get that. I'm sorry, and I announced it in time, but you cannot get the giant bomb skin anymore. It was a very limited time offer. In the future, I hope to get more time to announce promotional stuff. In this case, it just was not enough time. It was just less than 24 hours. If you got it uh, good. If you didn't get it, I'm sorry. I should have thought ahead and grabbed some extra codes. All I had to do was put an email to get the skin, and I did not think about that. So, in the future, I might think ahead and actually grab uh, codes to give away next time if uh, that's an option. But you saw the taunt, and you see the skin right here. I don't play Veteran a whole lot, so if you're curious about the uh, the game itself, I actually just I actually bought Veteran just to see the uh, the skin and taunt, so I don't play them very often. So that's why I'm not getting any sort of sick claws or anything like that. I guess I'm doing okay. I think I died like once in this game, but um, he is not a class I play a whole lot of. Besides that, as far as the patch goes, that's about it. They uh, they did buff uh, uh, shoot the moon, or they changed. I think it's more vertical now for Megabeth. Uh, besides that, uh, explosive damage on. Assassin Shurikens. I didn't realize they even had explosive damage, but it's been nerfed, so I guess it doesn't matter. Outside of that, not a whole lot changed. It was, like I said, mostly a lot of behind the scenes stuff for matchmaking and all that. Just sort of uh, refining the game, making it more appealing to new players. I suspect we will see some uh, new content coming soon. I believe trading is in testing right now. It'll be similar to Team Fortress 2. You can actually trade items, swap them with people. Uh, I'm assuming that also works on endorsements and products, as in addition to you know weapons, uh, uniforms, and taunts. What I am hoping is it will also include the Steam trading. Um, if you do not know, there are a few games on Steam, uh, mainly Team Borders 2, Portal 2, I believe, uh, Spiral Knight, I forget what the game is called, allow you to trade not just within the game itself, but you can trade, uh, like, as an example, you can trade a... You could trade like veterans T set weapon for a hat in Team Fortress 2. Like it's not just limited to the game itself. That'd be very exciting and a very nice way to actually get some more stuff. I look forward to trading hats for bacon endorsements. That'd be <laughs> that'd be something. 
that's about it for the patch so far. We, I will, I'm looking forward to see what they do in the future. Right now, like I said, they're just sort of, sort of dealing with uh, you know important stuff first before they get into the get back into the motion of doing balance changes and additions and new maps and all that. So we will see how that goes. As far as this gameplay, uh, it is uh, about a little over halfway done now. I am playing it pretty defensive. At this point, it's quite obvious we are doing uh, fairly poorly, losing every Annihilator. I am pretty much playing it safe, sticking in the back, killing bots. Uh, if you if you play veteran and not know this, the alt fire on your falcons will stun bots and turrets. So please, please, please use the alt fire on your uh, flying falcons weapon, veterans. It will greatly help uh, push bots. It'll help stun turrets so your team can kill more easily. It'll help Super prevent extreme. bots from attacking your turrets so the shields go down. It is a very useful ability. Do not forget to exist. As far as Kakla goes, I am missing it quite a few. I get like, I think one that results in a kill. It is just something I'm not used to using. I'm not uh, quite... I think I'll get the uh, adjusted where I actually was to aim for, how to, you know, lead my target a little bit. I guess... You think I'd do better at a stuff like Waskai who has a similar mechanic, but no, I do not. I just fail all around. Like right there, right around the corner. Man, Cannot do it. I just I just lack the... I, I thought my giant bomb skill would help me, but after seeing how they played on Thursday, I guess it hurt me, if anything. Right here. Getting out of dodge, see the spark coming. When teammates are arriving, you need to just get out, because you can be seen. Another Mystical Claw, I'm just excellent at this class. Right there, I should have gone after them. They were getting scrambled. You see right there, they're still getting scrambled, and I should have assisted my team to help them go down faster, instead of going for a combat kitty. Again, this guy is going to die. Is he going to die? I think yeah, I actually think he teleports, or yeah, he gets out of there. I was going to try to buy a bouncer to chase him down, but I don't know. Don't have the cash. But as far as playing veteran, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of playing veteran because I find it a little boring. I'm not good at clawing. I he just kind of sits back and does his thing. I rather just play a faster. He's a little slow. I rather play a faster class. He does have you know the lunge and the. It's kind of weird playing as him because the lunge for the lunge for enforcers is uh, got a longer cooldown than that for commando. So it's actually a little a little weird. Playing a playing veteran as you're playing commanders for so long, because to that like half second or so more on the uh, the lunge. At this point, I'm just doing what I can to stay to stay in it. We have not even taken down one of their towers yet at this point. I don't think. And I think I'm I'm number one on my team right now. Actually, I believe even though I only like like eight kills. Didn't die at all, but you're just uh, playing like playing it safe like I usually do when I don't know how to play the class. Also, I'm playing Assault, in which case I get over overextended like crazy. But that's just Assault. At this point, we, we have a lever, so the writing is on the wall at this point. There's no chance for a comeback. But I think uh, when you're playing Veteran, the big thing is to find... It's, it's it's a very much of a commando mentality. Find players that are unaware. Well, there's our first, uh, our, our first probably only tower we're going to take down this game. But you want that sort of commando mentality. You want to look for players that are unaware, players that are weakened, so you can uh, finish them off. For my build, I was not looking at any. I looked at no guides for this, so if my build is a little wonky, it, it's that way for a reason. Everyone just went um, claw, pain train, or whatever it is, or freight train, whatever it's called, and his offense. Then I went defense because at that point. We're getting a little out leveled. I'm actually, I'm actually on the high. I think I actually have the most cash of any team because I'm just focused on killing bots so much. That I'm actually kind of worried about that sniper because he is using a build that focuses on critically, uh, critically late, over armor, and critical armor. So as long as he has full armor, he has like 20% uh, with uh, you know in the late game. He has quite a bit of uh, armor, and since he's a long range class, he can reliably, for the most part, stay far away and keep his armor at max. 
So I was trying to poke at him, make sure his armor was just a little chipped away so that he could not get that boost. That's you know, like I said, you are for the most part it, you for the most part you are like having his crit by doing that. I forget if headshots can crit or not, but you don't want body shots critting either, so went ahead and went ahead and make sure I was constantly keeping him below full armor. Which again is difficult because he at level ten he will start gaining, you know, armor passively as long as HP is full, so I keep that in mind. But yeah, for the most part, just farming bots. Trying to be with my team, like right here, trying to help my help my combat girl by throwing a bounce rider. Maybe I'm not trying to help my team, maybe I'm trying to sabotage them in secret. Here, I figure maybe I can go from behind and try to try to ambush them with my juice. Uh, it's a long shot, but to be honest, we are, we are like I said, we also are second to last hurt on the right lane. It's looking real bad here, so I'm going to try to finish off Carl real quick here. And it goes down nice and easy. Uh, the problem is the gunner's here now. So, and there's a spark, so I'm pretty screwed at this point. I'm, I'm trying to charge out of the way, but I charge into one of them, which initiates a grapple, so that pretty much seals my fate. Whether or not I would have survived either way is uh, up in the air. Probably not, because they, they did get Annihilator, and that just pretty much dooms us. And of course, their kind of girl bought a Jackpot. It is a gambit to buy a Jackpot uh, during Annihilator fights, but in a 4v5. Um, or in their case, a 5v4, it is a pretty safe bet. So while we were fighting for Annihilator, they were able to easily get our money ball down with their Jackpot, and this game is pretty much over. So, as I said before, you cannot get the Giant Bomb skin, it is, that deal's over. Uh, packs, TF2, one more week, next patch, they're gone. Uh, buy them if you want them. If you do not want to buy them, I still have some skin coats here. And let's go ahead and, um, let me away my, my last, uh, my last veteran skin, I believe. I'll give that away. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me go ahead and, oh, I'm getting back here if you hear any noise. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do a veteran, and I will see you all next time.